past three years in this country, the forces of hate have been unleashed. And we see more and more violence associated with those hateful impulses. But we've also known for years and years that there are white supremacist forces that are organizing uh, to do violence. We know about the militias in some parts of the country. Is there a, a point at which you have seen this uptick that you can be real specific? Yes, look, Alex, it's not a time for a partisan discussion, but it is a time to say uh, some of the most hateful speeches emanating from Washington, D.C. Christmas is over, the flu has finally made its way through my home, and it's time to get back on track. Over the last month, there has been a series of attacks on the Jewish community in New York, and they fit a pattern of black men associated with black nationalist groups like the Hebrew Israelites. You certainly wouldn't know this from the coverage since they're sanitizing any mention of any of this stuff in the stories, and even focusing on white supremacy as the cause. Yes, really. For the last three years in this country, the forces of hate have been unleashed, and we see more and more violence associated with those hateful impulses. But we've also known for years and years that there are white supremacist forces that are organizing uh, to do violence. We know about the militias in some parts of the country. Is there a, a point at which you have seen this uptick that you can be real specific? Yes, look, uh, Alex, it's not a time for a partisan discussion, but it is a time to say uh, some of the most hateful speeches emanating from Washington, D.C. <laughs> of course, Trump and white people are to blame for black Israelites' attacks on Jewish people that they've been threatening for decades now. As many of you know, I had my own unforgettable encounter with these violent morons while attending Ohio State University. They were inexplicably invited to speak at the annual Black Heritage Festival, and they used it to encourage the slaughter and enslavement of white people. The black Israelites saw me in the crowd, I was probably the only white guy, and to make a long story short, they told me that when the time came, they would spill my blood. So Jewish people aren't their only target. You may remember the media running cover for them when they launched racist attacks on the Covington High School kids, which were joined in on by a Native American group that told the kids to go back to Europe. How do you feel about Nathan Phillips' group telling the kids to go back to Europe? It wasn't they, they, they It's on video. It's on That's video. Not true. It is. That's it's on the two-hour video. Absolutely. The media ran cover for those two groups and demonized the kids. Another interesting fact is that there's a lot of support for Louis Farrakhan and the Democrat Party. Louis Farrakhan echoes a lot of the sentiment that you hear from the black Israelites. I've read dozens of articles and watched dozens of segments on this story, and mysteriously, this topic never comes up, despite his closeness to the Democrat Party. As the National Review points out, Barack Obama came a-calling in 2005 when he was ramping up his political career. The Congressional Black Caucus has consulted him. Bill Clinton stood alongside him at Aretha Franklin's funeral, implicitly elevating the cult leader. California Democrats Barbara Lee and Maxine Waters attended Farrakhan's public events, and the Obama administration veteran Eric Holder recently posed for a picture with him. Rashida Tlaib even contributed articles to Louis Farrakhan's publication. If you're looking for some good reasons why the media may be sanitizing their coverage of this event, there's a few good ones right there. You can make a good argument that the media and the Democrats are accomplices in these attacks. They prop up and promote the purveyors of this hatred, then deflect to their political opposition when his rhetoric turns into action. They have to lie to cover their own asses. Yet another reason why CNN and these other fake networks are completely unworthy of your trust. Speaking of Rashida Tlaib, she tweeted out, quote, this is heartbreaking. White supremacy kills. Are we going to see this kind of coverage of yesterday's shooting at White Settlement Church? Not only were Christians targeted at a predominantly white church, but an armed citizen took down the shooter with this concealed firearm. These are not things the media wants to talk about. None of the stories I've read have shown any concern for rising hate against Christians. Have you ever heard anybody on the left or in the media use the term Christian phobia? But we've also known for years and years that there are white supremacist forces that are organizing uh, to do violence. We know about the militias in some parts of the country. Law enforcement has been trying to deal with them, and they've targeted law enforcement. These right-wing militias 
have targeted law enforcement for years in this country. What we have here is a far left Democrat politician on a far left Democrat party network using an attack on the Jewish community to attack and demonize his political opposition. While he insists that none of this is partisan. Alex, it's not a time for a partisan discussion. He fear mongers about right wing groups targeting police officers. And while that may be true, I can't believe it's widespread. People on the right tend to respect and support police. While it's left wing groups that actively speak out and plot against police. The protesters took to the streets Saturday in St. Paul outside of the state fair yelling, quote, pigs in a blanket, fry them like bacon, end quote. Just watch any protests involving Antifa and right-wing groups. The right-wing groups will be showing support for the police, while the left-wing groups will be actively attacking and speaking out against the police. Good luck finding video of right-leaning protesters attacking police. For that matter, aren't we constantly being told that police are a bunch of white right-wing racists that are out targeting minorities? They can't be targets of the far right and also the far right at the same time. But this is Democrat Party propaganda we're dealing with here, not the unvarnished truth. As an editor of the Jerusalem Post said, in American society, there is generally only place for one kind of racism. There are far right white supremacists and everyone else. This Manichaean worldview of anti-Semitism and racism means we are only comfortable with one type of perpetrator, an angry white man. So while these politicians and media propagandists proclaim to be concerned and proactive, they're actually ensuring that the problem will fester by covering up the real cause in favor of pushing a political agenda. It's just disgusting. They're using these attacks to generate hate and fear of their political opposition. Take my advice, turn off your TV, and let me watch it for you. If you enjoy my content, please like, share, and subscribe. If you want to further support this channel, please consider subscribing to me on Patreon, Subscribestar, or just send a donation on PayPal. However you choose to support this channel, I deeply appreciate it. Thank you.